Hello, James. What's up? We'll go ahead and get started. First question, Brian T. Smith. Hey, James. Um, do you still want the Rockets to trade you? And if so, why? Uh, right now, I'm just focused on being here. Um, you know, today was, was, was good. Yesterday felt really good being out there uh, in the first time in, you know, since the bubble. Uh, I hadn't really had an opportunity to do a lot of five on five work, but for my first time being out there, um, I think I, I felt pretty good. So there, there's been so much change with this team. You, you've, you've been with this team for eight years. How, how would you describe the last few months and just your overall perspective on, on where this, this basketball team is at right now? Uh, there's a lot of uh, changes. You know, obviously the entire coaching staff, uh, you know, some of the front office, uh, a lot of the players. Um, you know, this is where we are, you know. So, um, you know, coaches has done an unbelievable job of, of just, you know, communicating with the guys and um, just, you know, putting the structure in and, and, and getting things going. Tim McMahon. James, what was the point that you were trying to get across when you went to Atlanta and Vegas when training camp was starting? I was just training. What were you training for? Uh, in the start of the NBA season. How did going to Atlanta and Vegas help you there when the Rockets were starting training camp in Houston? Uh, just you know, my personal trainers. Jonathan Fagan. You mentioned that right now your focus is on where you are right there. Had you during the off season, or can you explain kind of why, what your thinking was in either asking to be traded elsewhere or indicating that that would be your preference? I can only focus on right now. Uh, and, and for me, uh, the best James Harden is, you know, making sure I'm, I'm in shape. Like I said, I hadn't really had an opportunity to play five on five. Individual, individual workouts, weightlifting, individual basketball training is great. But uh, you know, as M every NBA player can agree, uh, there's no, there's no, nothing like five on five training and uh, the physicality and you know making reads and things like that. So uh, yesterday, for my first time being out there, I felt good and um, you know it was exciting. Haley Griffin. Hey, James, um, you, you mentioned all the changes in the offseason, the new coach, a new system in place, so many new faces on the roster. What have you found to be the most challenging part of the last two days from just practicing for the first time as a group to, to then getting game action with the whole group together? Uh, for me, you know, I'm just I'm basically in catch up mode just because, you know, as far as principles and things offensively, defensively that, you know, Coach you know, um, Masala has imp implemented already I'm kind of you know behind a little bit so um which it, it isn't extremely hard for me but I'm still behind so I got to catch up in the sense of that but just going out there you know playing basketball and, and getting a feel for the game is, is easy. Kelly Eco. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah I can hear you. Um just how has it been on our wall and talks in terms of you guys can't do with it off. So are you echoing? Kelly, we can't hear you. Let's move on to the next question. Christy Reichen. Hey, James. I wondered, even though you won't talk about your future and all the rumors out there, do you feel like all the rumors about your future and about you wanting to be traded are a distraction to this team and the success that the team is trying to have this year? Uh, since, I've, since I've been here, there's nothing – has been said about it. You know, everybody in the locker room, coaching staff has been focused on uh, ramping up and preparing for the season. So um, that's all that matters. Karen Terrace. Sorry, I had to find the unmute new button. Hey, James, I just want to find out what's your impression of this new coaching staff and the new players are in. I mean, what, what, what's, what's been your impression so far? And have you had time yet to sit down with Silas at all and, and kind of talk to him about, about things and, and kind of what his plan is? Uh, not yet. You know, we've, uh, it's only been two days. You know, we had like a, a light practice. And then yesterday was, was a game. So, um, but the impression, you know, obviously they're motivated. You know, they're, mo they're motivated. They're excited uh, for the opportunity. Um, and the players are the same way. You know, uh, 
not really playing last year. You know, John looks looks like he's getting to you know you know back to his normal self. Uh, Boogie as well. You know, so um, they're all excited. You know, you know as far as the new opportunities. Um, which is, it showed yesterday. And last question, Mark Berman. Mark? Okay, we'll, we'll give the last question to Adam Spolin. James, uh, you obviously had a, a close relationship with Daryl for all those years, and I think you had a lot of trust in him. Do you have that same trust in Rafael Stone that he can put pieces around you? Uh, we haven't had a conversation, so. Um, yeah. Thank you, James. Thanks.